Okay, so this is part two of my dialysis setup, uh, putting the needles in and then connecting up to the machine and starting dialysis treatment. I've already washed my arm and my hand again and taken uh, the scabs off the two buttonholes. I, I needle in buttonholes, which means using the same site every time. Um, so my arm's now ready. So first thing I'm going to do is clean the needle site with an alcohol swab. So just make sure each site is completely soaked in alcohol and I've also washed my arm anyway so I know it's clean and then I use some gauze and make sure that that's dry and then I want to really show here I guess is how you can needle and tape and connect up completely one-handed and um, so you can do this on your own, you don't have to have someone with you helping you unless you want to, um, but I've always needled myself and done the whole thing without extra help. So first of all I'll just put the tourniquet on my arm and tighten that up. Um, and with needling you, I always start with the lower needle, the arterial. Um, I'll do that one first. So I've already primed these with saline as half to set up before. So I'm just going to take the cap off that needle. I always needle with the um, flat side of the needle downwards so there's the black dot on the top um, there's lots of different brands of needle but basically um, you can rotate them round either way whichever you prefer and then I actually rotate it round once it's in my arm um, and these are extra long needles which help for people who needle themselves because you can reach the end of it with your hand once it's in your arm so I've pulled the fistula I've got my fistula laid down here just to keep my arm as still as possible and I've tightened up the tourniquet already so I'm just going to do that and put that needle in so that's in so I'll just release the tourniquet and then I turn my needles around before I take them so just turn that over so it's properly in and make sure it's all the way through and then I've already laid out tape so I just tape the first piece over the wings of the needle to secure it and then I check that it's drawing blood out so that's fine so I can just draw the blood the syringe is already on the end and just make sure that flush that properly, make sure it's flowing, which is fine. So that's all good. That's fine. And then I use another piece of tape over the first section of tubing. And then the third piece of tape over the needle part where it enters the skin. So that's pretty securely taped down. So that's one. And then put the tourniquet back on. And pull that tight again. And put the second needle. And the same thing, I want the flat side of it first. And then I'll do that. so much better to needle yourself because you can feel exactly what you're doing on the inside and take it as slow as you need and as gently as you need and it's much better for your fistula as well so that one's in I'm just gonna turn that way the other way up and then that's fine the easiest way to check if you've got blood is to squeeze the end here and you'll get a flush of blood if it's in the right place so I'm just going to take that down as well and then I'll flush this one and we're good and we're good 
again I put three pieces of tape on this needle too. And then for extra security, because I know that while I'm sleeping the needles are going to be fine, um, I also add a dressing which I stick over everything here. That's all secure. Um, and I use the bleed out connection method, so I just connect my arterial needle to the circuit first and I bleed out um, blood right through the blood lines until it reaches the other end of the circuit and then I connect my venous. So I'm going to do the arterial now first. that's an empty bag of saline so I'll just disconnect the arterial line and connect straight up to me like that and then open both clamps one on the blood line and one on the needle and I like to start the blood pump pretty slowly so I start around 50 and make sure it feels okay which it does and then I turn up to do bleed out at about 110 mils just until the blood's filled the circuit. And while I'm doing that, I'll just prepare the final pieces of tape, which I'm gonna to use to secure the lines once I'm fully connected. waiting. Blood's passed through the dialyzer now. And it's detected blood in the air detector, so I just stop the pump while I connect the venous needle. Clamped that. And I'll just get that line. And then this is the Venus needle. And that's making sure I always make sure they're really well connected and I tape over the connections as well once I'm up and running. So I'll move that down there. So that's the venous line open. I'm going to turn the blood flow right back down to slow to start with at this point just until I know that that's flowing okay. There's always a couple of tiny micro bubbles in the venous line which is kind of inevitable although I try and make sure that I've flushed as many of them out as I possibly can. So, I can now tell the machine to start ultrafiltration, which means start removing fluid, and I put it into dialysis mode, so it's now starting treatment properly and turn the blood flow speed up um, because I do six or seven hours usually as a treatment session I run the blood pump a lot slower than you would on a normal four hour session so I run it at about 180 mil per minute whereas for a four hour session you'd be looking at something like 300 or more so it's much gentler on my fistula and the flow the pressures and the flow rates are much lower so I have much more mobility in my arm 
doesn't really get very sensitive if I want to move my arm and bend it while I'm sleeping I can and I can sleep in pretty much any position but what I do is I take the lines and I first of all tape around my hand and I actually tape across the connections as well just to make sure that there's no chance of them coming loose or undoing during the night so that's the first bit that I tape so right over those connections securely and then around my hand so it's held here and then the next step is I unravel the lines as much as I can and tape up my arm here this is why we have extra long lines for nocturnal so I put another piece of tape up here this is I have to hold it with my chin the tape's already prepared though so I can just stick a piece of it across here and then the final piece at the top just to take the lines here and then this is where they loop round and this is where they actually then go um, to the machine itself so I know that if I was to pull on the lines in the night at all all it would do is pull on this piece of tape here and it doesn't do anything to where my actual needles are and then the final thing I do which again is something that I do because I'm sleeping is I've made my own um, tubey grip bandage which just covers my whole arm and the lines um, and I've, it's got a hole in it for my thumb over my hand so I, that's something that I just made for myself as an extra precaution so I just slide that up and over so it keeps everything neat and tidy and tucked in and then I take the lines to the top of the bandage as well and then I turn the pump speed up to 180 now and I'll give myself a bolus of heparin and we're good to go.